And I feel like Norm had that space too, yes. where nobody. Perfect example. Right. Norm's tone was distinctive and unique. Like Norm's whole world was not just, ma- he was making fun of you, you were part of this, the right. suckers too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he'd be like, I mean, you're telling me, you know, he would just spring you in. It was that brilliant podcast he had with Adam Ege. Yes. You know, where they, it's just, yeah. Well, I went to Norm's, uh, you know, his uh, memorial service, yeah. and Adam Ege spoke, and he killed. It was all these professional comedians. Yeah. Adam Ege went up, and he goes, I love Norm MacDonald, even though if you Google me today, it says Holocaust denier. <laughs> Adam Ege <laughs> has the first thing. <laughs> and he went on about Norm, but it was, yeah. yeah and with Adam Ege, it was perfect. Because you know, the guest didn't know that... Uh, like half the guests normally go, I mean, I agree with you. Not like this guy thinks that the Holocaust didn't happen. Good job. Holocaust denier. Awesome. <laughs> and the guests would be, lo- you could see their angry eyes like, what? 